just a quick example here of uh, one of the problems here with, with the plows. This is so much fun. <laughs> this is the least expensive plow at 13,000. This is one of the faults uh, in 17 that I'm a little disappointed in. So overall not too bad, it kind of misses a little bit at each end, but you know, that's no big deal really when you get right down to it. <coughs> it's, uh, but it takes quite a long time to turn around because it's not doing it properly. You know, it's uh, what, trying to, if it turned the wheel the other way, it would actually maneuver the, the plow a lot better. But instead, now that was actually the most difficult turn, making a left turn, or, you know, turning around to the left with this, with this uh, plow. Turning around to the right isn't quite so bad, but uh, let me get a look here. He lifts it up, and he goes up. See, and he turns his wheels, and there he is. Now he's driving into it and pushing it back. And you can see that's not nearly as bad as it was the other way. We'll, we'll catch it one more time the other at the other end, so we can see that once again. But yeah. You know, 15 handled uh, this type of a plow a lot better. If this would just go out and turn around like the others, uh, like a lot of the other equipment does, you know, a lot of the other equipment, when it gets to the end, it goes out to, in this case, it would go out to the right, swing around, and come back in. Uh, this doesn't do this with this plow, and it kind of, I'm kind of curious as to why not, because the cedar does it, the uh, cultivator does it, the, uh, Harvester does it. Uh, everybody does it, but this, but with the plow. So that's kind of a bit of an annoyance then that they wouldn't do that. See, it tries to go straight over and around, and in so doing, <laughs> we wind up with this type of stuff. We're just trying to run over itself, and see how long it takes it to do that. Just forever. So that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to share that piece. 